final look at the seniors, another all-access pass, and we put a ribbon on the season. All coming up on the Robert McCollum Show. Thanks for joining us once again this week to talk USF Bulls basketball. I'm Jim Lighthall along with the head coach, Robert McCollum. And actually, we have a bit of a heavy heart this week because this is the final show of the season. And coach, first of all, let me say thank you for your time and cooperation making this show possible for all the Bulls fans out there. And secondly, I know we're in the final week of the season, but these games obviously mean a lot to you still. Well, they really do. And uh, prior to talking about the, uh, those games, let me uh, also uh, say thanks to our sponsors and really appreciate uh, their support of our program throughout the year. And uh, things haven't gone quite as well as what we liked. We hoped they would go, but yet uh, it's been a lot of uh, outstanding efforts by a lot of uh, not only our players, but just a lot of people in the background that do so many things to just make uh, your, your, your team and your program uh, have as uh, good of a season and make things go as smoothly as they, as they possibly can. Well, things will go smoothly for us here this afternoon. We have a great show on tap for you. Highlights of the Seton Hall and Providence games. A final look at the seniors, and we go behind the scenes with another all-access pass, this time on the road. We'll lead off with the highlights of the Bulls and the Pirates when we come back. Not six months, not 12 months, not 18 months, not 20 months. Kings announces no payments till 2009. It's our store-wide super sale. Get super savings store-wide. Save $120 on this five-piece microfiber plush living room, just $8.99. Save $100 on this lavish oak three-piece queen bed, just $3.99. Hurry, you've only got days to get no payments till 2009. Biggest selection, lowest prices, Kings. Dodge Caliber's versatility and great gas mileage make it perfect for a road trip. All the right features make it even better. I describe myself as well-rounded. I'm passionate about long walks on the beach, movies. I love working out. Basically, I'm looking to find a perfect 10. Someone just like me. The Florida Lottery just made Fantasy 5 and Easy Match better together than ever. For a limited time only, there are $1,000 top prizes and double the number of $100 winners. I always knew I'd need a winner. The Robert McCollum Show is presented by Canes and Save on Furniture and brought to you in part by CGM Services, Singular Wireless, Coca-Cola, Dodge, Kirby's Menswear, Likes Insurance, and by the St. Petersburg Times. All right, Coach, time again for the Singular Wireless Fan Question of the Week. This one from Lisa in St. Pete. What has that senior class meant to you? They've learned so much both on and off the floor. At the same time, we really appreciate the contributions they've made to both uh, the, the basketball program uh, and the university. They've, they've all been uh, <clears throat> very given of their time in terms of going out, doing things in the community, taking part in reading programs, uh, whether it's helping the assistant at Metropolitan Ministries, whatever we've asked them to do, uh, they just uh, embraced uh, that part of it as well. And uh, they've uh, left... Uh, what I think is a very positive path example for the returning players, and uh, that's what you want from your seniors. A good group indeed as they start to wind down their careers. Two teams on the outside of the Big East Tournament looking in. They were hooking up Saturday at the Meadowlands in New Jersey. We're talking about USF and Seton Hall at the Continental Airlines Arena. And, Coach, let's go to the highlights. And I know you were very concerned with their pressure 
first of all, that was number one on your priority list. Well, it really was. We did a pretty good job early on, but as the game progressed, they began to wear us down and the pressure became more and more effective. You really handled their pressure in the first half and got some backdoor cuts and we saw the alley-oop dunk to McHugh Mattis and Melvin Buckley was shooting the ball well early. Solomon Bozeman, somebody who hasn't scored a lot in the Big East Conference schedule, is getting more comfortable as the season winds down. Well, he's, uh, we've uh, moved him back into the starting lineup. And it's a great penetration there. Penetrate, gets the zone, draw the defense. And so he's had 9 and 13, respectively, the last two games and really feel good about the, the level of confidence he's playing with. You guys were playing with the lead for most of the first half. There's another backdoor cut, and I saw you jump out of your chair when that before that ball was even laid in the basket because you saw it developing. Well, we saw it developing before we played them. <laughs> well, you, you knew uh, uh, they put Paul Gauls, one of the league's best defenders, at least the league in steals, on Melvin Buckley. And so we, we knew he'd bite on that. He'd get up and deny, and so we uh, it worked to perfection. Kentrell Gransbury started to get active in the second half, and this is a nip and tuck game, obviously, as you can see by the score right there. He had a, a close lead, and Gransbury having another big game. And his ability to score down low starts to create things on the perimeter again. Jesus Verdejo was active in this game offensively. His ability to pass and score is a great dynamic. Well, you know, he's, he's been very streaky. But uh, with, with some, uh, opportunities to drive and open court play, uh, he's effective uh, on the offensive end. They started to wear you down with that pressure like you talked about. Field goal percentage, you win that battle. You turnovers, unfortunately, you win that battle in the wrong direction. And uh, really, their ability to start making some shots uh, in the second half then allowed you to, to look at that pressure a lot because they got set up in that press and then suddenly you couldn't handle it. When they... Uh, decided to go with a small lineup. We knew at some point they would do that. We thought their, their freshman center, uh, Garcia, 6'9", 260, we were hopeful that he played 25, 30 minutes in an attempt to try and match up with Contrera Grangeberry. Instead, they went with a smaller, quicker lineup, pressuring us on the outside so that we wouldn't have as much time to set up and get the ball inside to Contrera. And that small lineup made it very difficult for us to defend them, uh, whether it was in a zone or a man-to-man. -man. Final score, 89-76 up there in New Jersey. Bulls have a chance to regroup. They return home to face Providence for their final home game of the season on Wednesday night. We'll look at that game right after this. Hello? It's for you. Now, Tampa Bay's favorite newspaper makes it easier to be in the know. More colorful, streamlined pages get you quickly to your favorite news and features. And new Sunday sections about the box, the workplace, and travel, books, and the arts. It's everything you'd expect from one of America's ten best newspapers. Designed with you in mind. In the know, in the time. To subscribe, log on to TampaBay.com or call 1-877-THE-TIMES. When it's time to cool off the competition, the USF Bulls rely on CGM Services air conditioning and heating. Call CGM Services today and ask about the Carrier Infinity System, the world's best air conditioning system. The Infinity System takes indoor comfort to a new performance level. So when you want quality service and long-lasting carrier products, be cool like a bull and turn to the experts. Call Mike Charles or another CGM teammate at 813-AIR-COOL. CGM Services, proud sponsor of USF Athletics. Welcome back to the Robert McCullum Show. I'm Jim Lighthall along with the head coach. And we've already taken a look back at the Seton Hall game and the Bulls' busy week continued on Wednesday at the Sun Dome. It was a chance for the fans to say goodbye to the senior class on senior night and watch a pretty entertaining basketball game as well against the Providence Friars. 
And coach, always an emotional night as you take a look at the seniors right there. They get a portrait of themselves, families out there as well. And, and I know sometimes you've got to be concerned about guys getting too jacked up on senior night. Well, you really are. You know it's going to be a lot of emotion, and, and emotion can only carry you so far. But uh, just so happy for our seniors, and unfortunately we weren't able to go out on a winning note. You talked about the small lineup that you were going to face at Seton Hall that you were fearful of. With Providence, that's not the case. They have some big bodies. Absolutely. I think along with Syracuse, perhaps the biggest front line in the league, and that was a big concern. We're back and forth in the opening half with this bunch as well. Here's a run out to Melvin Buckley, who made a nice play. He didn't shoot the ball from the perimeter like he hoped on senior night, but he was able to make some plays. He had nine points. Well, he did. He, he fought it. He battled. And, of course, uh, just to... He went 0 for 11 behind the three-point line, and, and uh, that's rarely is that's going to that, that's going to happen. And so to still have a chance to win the game, it says a lot about how we how our level of overall play. People talk a lot about Chris Howard's passing ability as we see him start the uh, penetration there, but he can score as well. He had eight assists in this game, and he's beginning to get more and more comfortable. People forget he's only played 12 or 13 games in his college career. Well, absolutely, and this is. Uh, Late January, middle of January, a little was the first time he's played in two and a half years. Solomon Bozeman, as you talked about, as he continues to shoot the ball well, and well, you really had some chances here in the second half. They started to pull away a little bit, but you didn't fold. You didn't go away. You guys uh, come back. You get it down to one. Bozeman hits a big three-point shot, but you just couldn't close it out. Well, we couldn't get an offensive rebound. Yeah. And uh, as we've talked about too many times, the Contrail Grandsbury had just fouled out, so now there goes your, the league's best, not only our, the league's best rebounder. And uh, so you never know, but uh, you like to have him in the game. You know, your chance is a lot greater of getting that rebound uh, if he's in the, in the ball game. Now we, it's our ball going down with a chance to win the game. Career high 25 points for Kentrell Grandsbury, 14 rebounds that night. Always hard to say goodbye to those seniors. In fact, it's so hard we're not quite ready to do just that yet. A salute to the senior class when we come back. Lots of focus on the bottom line these days. That's fine. But we'll focus on you, the client. With that approach, strange how the bottom line will take care of itself. Likes insurance. We leave nothing to chance. Dodge Caliber's versatility and great gas mileage make it perfect for a road trip. All the right features make it even better. Not six months, not 12 months, not 18 months, not 20 months. Keynes announces no payments till 2009. It's our store-wide super sale. Get super savings store-wide. Save $120 on this five-piece microfiber plush living room. Just $8.99. Save $100 on this lavish oak three-piece queen bed. Just $3.99. Hurry, you've only got days to get no payments till 2009. Biggest selection, lowest prices, Keynes. There's a saying on the street, plan your work and work your plan. In today's environment, we call that strategy. It's what we're all about. Likes insurance. We leave nothing to chance. Well, they still have one more game in a USF uniform, but we're going to take this opportunity to wish the seniors well. Melvin Buckley, McHugh Mattis, Melvin Richardson, and Chris Capco have combined for 239 games in the green and gold. Four very good basketball players, an even better young man. These men are going to be missed. This week's Players Profile is brought to you by the St. Petersburg Times. I think I had a good two years coming from JUCO, coming over here. Uh, I think I learned a lot of stuff just playing in two years that I didn't know coming from JUCO. Uh, I mean, it's just going to be hard just leaving. 
but uh, got to move on. I mean, it's going to be tough to, to, to see everything that you used to, you know, that you five years of college, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be tough to look back and say, wow, you know, it's kind of, it's fine, it's, it's over. Everybody is, like, good friend with me, you know what I'm saying? So especially, like, Jesus, you know what I'm saying, Bug, Cav, everybody, you know, the whole team, they cool with me, you know. Everyone on the team, good friends, we love everyone on this team. Um, memories that I have of taking the court with these guys and the battles that we've gone through will be memories that I'll have, you know, that will rest, uh, last me the rest of my life. Aside from basketball, I mean, I learned a lot of stuff from first Matt. Uh, just personality and things like that, just getting to know people and things like that. Coach has definitely helped um, mature me. Um, he's helped me learn how to deal with adversity, helped me become a man. You know, teach me respect, teach me how to treat people on and off the court and just be a better person as well. This year, you know, the senior class will be able to maybe give uh, the classes next year, you know, something to look forward to, maybe a springboard into, you know, a better, even a better, even a better year next year. So, I mean, I think that's probably the most, one thing I am proud of. Coach, this senior class is a real melting pot. You talk about a couple of JUCOs. You talk about Capco, who came from Florida, Melvin Buckley, who came from Purdue. Yet they're all thrown together, and they're going to be friends for life. Well, that's one of the most unique areas of sports, and, and, this, and especially team sports, that uh, regardless of your background, where you're from, uh, you, you're pulling for one common cause, that name on the front of the jersey, and uh, it, it, it binds you. It, it gives you a level of, of trust, a level of brotherhood. You're forever uh, a teammate, and there's nothing more special than that. A lot of fun those kids are on and off the floor. Now, last week we took you behind the scenes a little bit. We followed around Melvin Buckley before a home game. This week it's going to be a lot of fun, too. You get to go on the road with the Bulls when we come back. The Blackjack, fully loaded, deceptively thin. Your ticket to exclusive on the edge of your seat NCAA highlights. And The Sink, also your source for exciting NCAA clips you won't want to miss. Our latest phones with video, vibrant MP3 sound, and exclusive NCAA highlights. And now at a very popular price. Singular, now the new AT&T. Your world delivered. <laughs> Hello? It's for you. Well, it's not all glitz and glamour on the road with a Division I college basketball team. And we sent our cameras along with the Bulls on their recent road trip to Seton Hall to find out what life is really like away from the comfy confines of the Sun Dome. Nothing was off limits. Everything was fair game. And as they say, the film doesn't lie. Here's this week's Coach's Corner. Well, it's fun. You know, you had time to joke with your teammates, tell a lot of old stories, you know. So being on a plane and a bus and at the Sun Dome before you leave, it, it helps us out a lot and builds a lot of new friendships. All right, ready? Yeah. The first year you do it, it's fun, and you get to see all these places, but as you get older and you do it all the time and you miss classes, you just want to go and you just want to play the game and get out of that city. You're not there for too long, but you know, you're just there to play that game. You want to there, get there, play that game, get it over with, and get out of that city. We had our iPods out, you know, listening to some music. The best rapper alive, Lil Wayne, you know, on the airplane. It was kind of a bumpy ride, but, you know, we made it here safely, landed. Control Gransberry always has a fear of flying. He can never sleep too comfortably on the plane uh, because he's so scared about, you know, something bad happening or something like that. He always makes sure he uses the bathroom before we get on the plane. It's definitely colder in Newark. We left Tampa today, just had on our long sleeve shirt with some slacks and a tie. And when we landed in Newark, we saw uh, snow on the ground. The life of a college basketball player. French fries, burger, powerade. See, I eat healthy a little bit. 
at least I drink healthy. I'm rooming with Melvin Buckley on this trip. Hang out with Melvin tonight. Hang out with some other teammates. Watch some TV. Talk on the phone to my beautiful girl from Alyssa. And uh, call it night. So we'll see you guys later. Project. You want it like that? I'm good. Yeah, that's yeah? Right. All right. Thank you. We had breakfast this morning. We woke up pretty early, about 9 o'clock. I had the normal breakfast, an omelet, some sausage, bacon, you know, some orange juice. But personally, I felt great waking up. I had a nice night of rest. Uh, you know, the standard pregame, pregame meal. Today in walkthrough, you know, we was in one of the basement gyms, you know, which we, we can't help, you know, that's that's where we were. Usually we walk through at the main arena and get to shoot on the baskets that we're gonna play on tonight, but you know, that's no excuse whatsoever. You know, we just gotta be ready to play tonight. Well usually two to three hours before the game I cut my phone off so there's no phone calls and you know I'm focused on what we have to do and read our scouting reports and make sure that we know who we're defending and their tendencies and everything like that. And we're about to see what the Bulls can do with Seton Hall on the road. Final three games of the season, second to last road game of the year. USF without a road win in Big East play, trying to get one tonight. Interesting note is that the Bulls could not shoot, obviously, in this building since they got here. Went to a small auxiliary gym on campus. Very tiny gym, actually, and uh, the Bulls went through the shoot around, their shoot-around early today. All right. <laughs> hey, let's, 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 let's get off to a great start. Get off to a great start again. This game cannot be more important to them than it is to us. Okay, one possession at a time. Okay, trust each other, play with confidence. Take a minute. USF in the road, Green will move to our right, Seton Hall in the home white. Players in the center circle, the ball in the air, and the tap controlled by USF. We're underway from the Continental Airlines Arena in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Saka, the freshman at 6'6", dribbling, dumps down low to Mattis, catch it, two-handed thunder dunk. McHugh going to the hoop. Okay, well, we're going to go back home, and we're going to come out there wins with a different level of intensity. Some way, somehow, somebody's going to do it. We said, if we hold people on the seventh, we're going to win. Team on three. One, two, three, team. team. You know what I'm saying? They came out, scored 54 points in the second half. That's the game. You know, we didn't come out. We didn't execute on defense. Um, offensively, we struggled. 19 turnovers. That's the. That's where. That's where everything fell down. It was always great to uh, have a chance to meet your family. Uh, it's a, another inspiration to play. That's one of the reasons I came to Big East. I know I had a lot of family up in the Upper East, and it's just great. I wish we could have won. Being a college athlete. You know, Go here and there and here. You got to wake up at early times of the morning, possibly get snowed in in places, and it's just real hard, but you got to fight through it and, and just do what you got to do to get through it and get home. I get up early anyhow, but uh, I mean, it's kind of stressful just getting up and just traveling back and forth. Every plane ride, I try to call my mom and my girlfriend. Um, just I'm trying to get over the nervousness, just the motion sickness from the turbulence, I guess, but I'm taking drama in, so it'll, it'll all get through it, hopefully. Real soon, if I start flying a lot more, so hopefully I'll get over. But for now, it's just real, real terrifying on the turbulence part. Oh, that is some good stuff right there, coach, and a little peek behind your life and the player's life. And uh, unfortunately, it is a business trip for these guys. In a lot of ways, it is, but I think the comments of the players and the comments obviously vary. Uh, each of them see uh, travel, team travel, uh, differently. And, but it's interesting, you, you hear the seniors, and you, you, you can just hear and sense the, the, the difference in the level of experience and maturity. And uh, but I think they have a lot of appreciation. They also benefit f uh, from those trips. And just hearing the comments in terms of how they'll learn and how to prepare for games. Uh, Chris uh, Howard's comments were excellent in terms of two or three hours before a game, he turns off his phone. That's, uh, that's so important. And, uh, uh, I want to just, my, I really have a great deal of appreciation to uh, uh, Town 28. That was a, I, think, uh, I hope our fans will really, really appreciate those behind the scenes uh, looks at the, at the program, the travel, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, section there on the seniors. And uh, I think it really uh, gives our fans a, a, a different view, a much greater understanding of all the things that go into uh, the making of a season, the making of a program.
That's a three-day trip cut down to about five minutes, so a lot of good stuff in there as well. Hey, it's been a lot of fun this season with the Bulls. We'll have some final thoughts when we come back. Now, Tampa Bay's favorite newspaper makes it easier to be in the know. More colorful, streamlined pages get you quickly to your favorite news and features and new Sunday sections about the box, the workplace, and travel, books, and the arts. It's everything you'd expect from one of America's 10 best newspapers, designed with you in mind. In the know, in the to subscribe, log on to TampaBay.com or call 1-877-THE-TIMES. <laughs> Hello? It's for you. Dodge Caliber's versatility and great gas mileage make it perfect for a road trip. All the right features make it even better. The Robert McCollum Show has been presented by Canes and Save on Furniture and brought to you in part by CGM Services. Singular Wireless, Coca-Cola, Dodge, Kirby's Menswear, Likes Insurance, and by the St. Petersburg Times. All right, Coach, there's a look at the Big East standings for a final time, and I know we still have basketball left to play. Kind of a quirk in the schedule. DePaul coming up this weekend, and you've seen them just a couple weeks ago back at the Sun Dome. You're very familiar with them, so let's take a look at the DePaul Blue Demons. The Scouting Report is brought to you by Dodge. Coach, this is an athletic bunch. You saw them firsthand in your own building. Well, they really are. They're as athletic as any team in the league, and I think they have a great balance in terms of uh, – Guys, they can knock down threes, and I think what they do as well as anyone in the league is the ability to break it down and score off the dribble. And then they also have size, they have depth, they have experience, and uh, their team is very capable of getting on a roll, uh, whether it's in the, the Big East tournament or a postseason tournament, and they can really cause a lot of people problems. And I thought we did some things well for about 30 or 35 minutes. Unfortunately, that wasn't quite enough. But I'm confident that our guys, uh, in spite of this being the last game, no postseason play, that our guys will come out and play uh, with the level of intensity that we just witnessed uh, against Providence. That'll be a 2 o'clock tip up there in Chicago on Saturday afternoon. Coach, again, thank you so much for allowing me to sit with you this season. It's been a real pleasure. Well, thank you. It's been a lot of enjoyment uh, for me as well. And, uh, again, uh, uh, thanks to all of our sponsors and to uh, TV28. We'll see you right back here in about nine months, all right? We look forward to it. We'll do it all again on the Robert McCollum Show. Thanks.